praise the Lord this morning. So we are going to be singing together a song. I just join in singing these songs together. And I know that the Lord will be with us. Indio? Higher, higher. Makofi kwa Yesu basi. about Jesus Christ and so today we're going to be doing a song together it's called Yesu and I want us to sing the chorus together as we learn it so together we'll sing together with the band everyone say Yesu Tuimbe Yesu Yesu Nima Yesu Yesu Nifiche Simple. One more time, say yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, Mimi Baba, Linde, yes, 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 yes,
glory, O Lord. Father, for those of us who are here and our hearts are lifted with thanksgiving, Lord, we lift them together and we say thank you, Lord, for life, for food, for health, and everything that you have offered unto us, O Lord. Lord Jesus, our cry and our desire is to see you glorified in our hearts, in our lives, in our church, in our country, and in the world, O Lord. Father, be glorified. Jesus, be glorified. Holy Spirit, reign in our hearts this morning. Take control. Have preeminence. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. yourself a favor and have a heart to heart with God. Sawa?
cry unto you this wonderful morning. We say, Lord, there is, there is nothing, there is no one that is greater than you, Lord. We present ourselves as a living sacrifice at your feet, that, Lord, you may see us through, Lord, in our high moments, in our low moments, Lord, in times when we do not have anything to hold on to, Lord. You have reminded us, Lord, that you are always with us. You will always hold our hand. You will always, Lord, be the light on our feet, Lord. And without you, we can do nothing, Lord. That's why, Lord, we welcome you in our lives. We welcome you in this place. We welcome you in everything that we do, Lord. That you may see us through in everything that we do. We praise your name, Lord. And we give you all the honor. For we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us appreciate the man. All right, all right. You can have your seats. So, as I said earlier, my name is Timothy Monene. And I am saved and I love the Lord. And this moment, I want to welcome anyone who is with us for the very first time, who is a visitor with us. Is there anyone? Mugeni Yoyote. Ama mtu mwenyeja kuja for some time, has not been with us for some time, and uh, they have come to church today. Is there anyone? Anyone? Hakuna mgeni leo? All right. So, appreciate yourself for coming today. And thank you, and I know that the Lord has been a blessing to you in the wash, time of worship and praise that we have had. So, uh, this is our youth service, and welcome again. We always have three services for those that want to come really early, kuna service 8 to 9, then we have the main service, Nanza 9.30 to 10.30, and we have our service, Inyeiko Sahi which is for the youth. So you, are, you always feel welcome and we always praise the Lord. So next, uh, this week, we have a time of prayer and fasting for the whole church. And due to that, we are having a revival from Thursday, from Friday, sorry, Saturday and Sunday. And on uh, Friday, it starts at 5.30. And on Saturdays, it starts at 4. And on Sunday, we shall have the Thanksgiving Sunday for the new year. So you are welcome to participate in all those services that we have. And the other thing is, the registration is going on for new members. So if you have not yet registered as a member of the church, you can see me or you can see Candy can stand that is candy and if you need any more uh, information about the church you can see me you can see anyone of uh, the guys here you can see the chairman neza simama takuja kusema kitu kidogo in a few minutes and you're going to be blessed of the lord so hata sasa ndio nilikuwa nataka niite chairman akuja tusalimie and we know that the lord will bless us let us appreciate him as he comes Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Mbona tunakaa tujachangamka. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Wave to the person on your right and on your left. Mwambie welcome to the house of the Lord. Look at your neighbor tell them I am happy to see you today. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Um, um, I am blessed of the Lord. This is um, an amazing Sunday and I thank God personally for the gift of life and for thus far he has been faithful. Amen. Um, I want to bring forth um, additional notices kidogo. Um, as all of you know, Mondays tunakwanga na Bible study from 6.30 all the way to um, 7.30 going to 8 latest. So, um, 
last Sunday, we, last Monday rather, we did a continuation of something we are doing. The book entitled The Church We Need. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing um, book. And I'd encourage all of you to make it for the Bible study. Buana Sifiwe, how many of us promised to be in the Bible study, Kesho? By a show of hands. Kama jirani ya inui mkono. How many papas? Wacha nitumie jina papas. How many papas to be there tomorrow at 630 for the Bible study? By a show of hands. Buana Sifiwe. So to jaribu sana to make it tomorrow. 6.30 so that we can continue with the Bible study. Um, another thing is that on the 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day, another reminder, we'll be having a diocesan event that we'll be hosting here at SK St. Andrew's Zimmerman. It will be an afternoon of worship. So a brief reminder, let's mark our calendars. Najua to is this our 14th of February. Sindio? That's Valentine's Day. Let us come and pour out our hearts to the one who loved us. And that is Jesus. So make an afternoon. Make it upon yourself to be here that afternoon. Na mungu atatubariki sana. Another thing, um, we are appealing to you guys as the band. If you're here and you'd like to be part and parcel of the band, um, the praise and worship team, Tafadali, Come and see us and we will really, really appreciate. Kindly come on board. Um, na mungu watatubariki sana. And as the band, we're also inviting and extending our invite. Next Sunday, we'll be having our monthly worship lounge. And itakuwa tu hapa kwa tent. Next Sunday, um, from 3 p.m., we're expected to have our worship lounge. So let's turn up in numbers. When you are a group, you poster. So share it on your statuses. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Namungu atazidik to bariki. And which reminds me, if you are not in our WhatsApp group, um, you, sh you, you can see me or any of the leaders. Um, they will stand in a few. Na mwenyezi mungu atatubariki sana. Amen? Amen. Um, and visitors. Um, Leo tujagua na visitors. So, leo sisi ni wenyeji tuneza jipigia makofi. Just appreciate ourselves. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, those are the notices. Mwenyezi mungu, awabariki sana. Um, let me invite Cairo. Tupigia Cairo makofi. Najua, staki kunyimo Holy Communion ile siku tutapewa. Asa ni vizuri ni muambia kenye nakuja kusema. <laughs> Ndiyo, <laughs> tusikizane mapema ni mapema asini nyime mkate ni kifika hapa. Ama ni aje. Um, sawa, sawa. So, thank you buwana chair. <laughs> I once wore those shoes. Thank you very much for this opportunity buwana chair. Uh, and our very able youth pastor. Um, I am here to do a very simple thing last Sunday, but one. We had our AGM, and people chose leaders, and we want to see them. Sawa? Because most of us are not there. And that is why I am here. That is why I have this unique privilege. Uh, I was once where he stands, and I am happy that they are continuing with the good work. Sawa, sawa. So, I don't know whether they are all in, in the house, I want to present to you a very able chairman, Bonaken Mulunda Makofiake. Assisted by his money bag, Fukuyake Apesa, Bona Treasurer, Timothy, Timothy Kanyange. Eh, Makofia Timo. In absentia, uh, our secretary, uh, Lynette Wanja, Makofiake Akuko Juna Teens today. Um, I also, we have our band director there on the keys, showing what he does best during the week. Tafadhali Buwana Makofia Bonalan. He's the one who takes us through our practices. We have Lynette Ateku with us, who is our hospitality. Ama, sindi yo? Ah, Makofia Lynette Ateku Ateku. Stand. Tuwa mask tukuone Buwana. 
yeah she's our food girl kwa hivyo ukiwa na njaa search no more see her after the service sawa sawa <laughs> we have a special events coordinator in the house masi kendi kanyi makofi yake and we have our communications guy by the name Kevin Fundi i think he's the one who's projecting up there so in absentia makofi ya Kevin Fundi ah ndule pale nyuma bwana fundi bwana amka toa toa mask tukuone bwana there is the young man called bwana fundi makofi yake <laughs> and so i want them to stand here tafadhali kujeni muonekane vizuri fundi kuja band director eh asante sana makofi yao wakikuja waoneni wote see your leaders very well uh, i want to assure you today night the whatsapp admins wana change mimi natoka kama admin inabaki kuwa ni hawa vijana ambao wako hapa mbele yenu makofi yao makofi yao and so we are going to they are going to be commissioned by, by the vika when the time comes it's good that you know them sindio i'm from cc tunawapenda sana wase you guys can have your seats god bless you so much god bless you so much Um, you're going to I'm going to return the service back to our leader and I was your former chair Cairo sawa sawa give this guy a humble time makofi yake <laughs> going to have our the reading for today and as we welcome Amy to come and give us the reading today uh, so as he comes we are going to have the reading that is going to lead us today Appreciate highs she come Good morning Praise God uh, our verse today will come from the book of John chapter 2 verse 1 to 11 Are you all there John chapter 2 verse 1 to 11 and it says On the that day a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee Jesus mother was there And Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, "They have no more wine." "Woman, why do you involve me?" Jesus replied, "My hour has not yet come." Verse 5. His mother said to the servants, "Do whatever he tells you." Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 80 to 120 liters verse 7 Jesus said to the servants fill the jars with water so they filled them to the brim then he told them now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet they did so and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine he did not realize why it had come from though the servants who had drawn the water knew Then he called the bridegroom aside verse 10 and said everyone brings out the choice wine first and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink but you have saved the best till now verse 11 what Jesus did here in in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him that's the word of god praise god to god so we welcome our pasi uh this time no uh, we hear what he has for us all right so since uh Pasi is going to give us the word. I'm going to welcome the band uh, so that we can have a hymn as we prepare to hear the word. So we may all be upstanding as we welcome the band to give us a hymn so that we can hear the word of God. Please 
in your presence this morning and dear Lord thank you for you have been with us as we began this service earlier and even now we have stood in your presence to hear from you oh God we are expectant of thee and our prayer is that Lord you speak to us in Jesus Christ we pray and believe Amen. we pray and believe Amen. So let us have our seats I want to thank God this morning for his presence and power in my life. My name is Daniel Kadungo, and by the grace of God, again, I don't want to take it for granted. I want to echo the words of a, a young lady who was speaking in teens today, and she was saying she just do not take it for granted that she has seen this day of the year. Based on the fact that by the beginning of 2020, we were so hopeful but the moment we got to the month of, I think, March, things changed. And there was a total confusion and fear and anxiety the whole year. But the key thing, and one thing that we are supposed to be happy about is this. That God has seen us through this far. The reasons we have to always thank God. Um, I, I don't know, uh, maybe I can, I, can, I can as well remind us. Not remind us, what am I saying? I was I also to say that I am married to one uh, beautiful wife. Her name is uh, Gladys. I think she's in the mother's meeting and she's very beautiful and that is why I married her. Yes, it's good to confirm that. Now, um maybe only Lenjits can understand this. There's one day I get home in the evening and I'm tired, I'm coming from work. By then I was working elsewhere. Guess what I'm cooking? I mean, 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 I I followed it very well. Kama vile chairman amesema the former chairman nilifuria kwa meko nikaweka unga alafu nikaweka maji but anyway i boiled water very well the water boiled naona mtu akishangaa what did you do i'm just trying to call you to attention maji mechemka vizuri sana nimemwaga unga yangu ndani vizuri sana na ikaanza kuchemuka wakati nimeadea mwiko nikaona ile speed hiyo maji na unga na unga ilikuwa inachemka nayo imeanza kuba Kubadilika. Your guess is right as mine. You can imagine what is happening. Kido, kido ko hivi. Nikaona hakuna kazi inaendelea kwa ile mchanganyiko ya maji na unga. Kido, kido ko hivi. Nikasikia stofi meniabia. And that is the end of my cooking. Nikafikira cha nikibia kwa duka. Simulajua ni nini mefanyika. I mean the oil is out. Mm. Sasa nikafikira nikibia kwa duka. Kukibia nikapata ule mse waduka Hamefunga Nikakubuka kuna duka igine hapo chini Nikakimbia ambio sana Kufika hapo Nikapata ndio mse hamefungua Lakini mafuta Hakuna So nikaludi home Nikafunika my concussion Na nikalala Because ila nilikuwa nikule na ayo Haiwezi lika mbichi Sababu nilikuwa nikule na mayai Sinuajota bia za masingo Nilikuwa nikoroge mayai Sasa mayai utakula aje mayai mbichi na ugali I wish ilikuwa at least and I found myself in dilemma. I had to sleep hungry. I know some of us here, when you are doing your work, maybe you are working at home using your computer, and there is this buffing that keeps on happening, including sometimes when we are uh, streaming. That buffing, maybe there is this CV that you are supposed to send to a certain place. It keeps on buffing and buffing. Maybe you are doing your work and you are supposed to present it tomorrow. And you are so sure the lecturer at Asema, it has to be ready. Lakini hakuna network. 
hakuna bundles una chat na wase wewe peke yako dia huko online because bundles kaput i don't know what is it that you can resonate with sababu unajaribu kuleta vitu nyumbani zile ambazo kila mmoja at least anaweza elewa ile ya ranges na hii ya nyuma sijui ni gani that you can resonate with mnaniangalia are you getting what i'm saying then look like you do friends at times we find ourselves that we are short of resources and the text that was read to us about Jesus in a wedding in Cana of Galilee and during this time the whole team that has come to celebrate was supposed to take one week and the groom sijui kwa nini magroom huonewa hivi sijui uende kwa mdain upeleke mahari kutoka hapo mnunulie ile gown na anataka ile gown ya ku import and all that stuff now the main day ya harusi it is the groom who makes sure that watu amelishwa wote now thank god in our context it's only one day during this time it was supposed to take a whole week imagine viki no ni viki ama ni victor or vic viki ni mdem so a whole week you're supposed to feed a group of people na ni wewe umewaalika na lazima wale wakunywe of course kai na washibe na wafurahie na waenjoy I don't know whether you have ever had a bash. Na umetayarisha vizuri sana and friends has, have come lakini kulingana na venye serving inaendelea unaona iki Roma haitafika kule mwisho. Na wewe ndio umeita wase. Na you're so sure wakitoka hapo ataenda akikusengenya. They will be saying kwani he didn't know what he was doing. He invited us to a bash and we didn't eat. I remember a bash that I was invited to pray for a small child. Na watu wao wakasema m mm, hiyo keki ilikuwa ya naivas. To them a bash has to have a cake that is baked differently i don't know whether ya yeah, supermarket sorry i didn't mention ni ilitoka wapi i don't know whether cake ya supermarket na ya kubekiwa kwingine tofauti ni ipi to them they imagine they want a, they wanted a different cake and to them they thought this has just been bought from the nearby supermarket here so it's not as good as we imagine it will be what am i saying at times we might find ourselves we have run short of resources and therefore like this man who was in charge who was the owner the bridegroom of this, um, um, ceremony it is so embarrassing you feel bad you feel you don't want to stand in front of the very guest that you invited because you have been short of resources at times we may look at ourselves in such a context and we may feel inadequate we feel like we are not up to the task you look at the salary that you are receiving at the end month vis-a-vis -vis the bills and you try to balance you try to balance it has never balanced and you have been promising yourself from the beginning of the year every year come here go here that this year i must be very disciplined in my budgeting but somewhere somehow you find yourself missing it because every month you find yourself you have already consumed the salary for the three months ahead of you Does that sound familiar? Unajipata wala wanafanya kazi umekula salo yako ya miezi tatu inayokuja. What am I saying? Ni kwa sababu umeomba Victor 1500, umeomba huyu zake zingine gapi? Kwa hivyo mshahara ikikuja, unalipa Victor, unaabia kendi kwa jamii mwezi ujao. Na kwa hivyo sababu ulilipa Victor, ni kumaanisha huyu una pesa za kulipa bills za mwezi gani? Who? Who do you talk to now? Another person. And you keep on going in circles. Sometimes You may be in this group of friends who seems to be draining you. The expectations are too high that what you can be able to provide. Sometimes you feel like you're not good enough in your studies. Here are your parents who have paid expensively for studies, but you're only getting receipts one after the other. And you even received a letter of warning that after this, if you get another receipt, you will be expelled. You feel inadequate. Sometimes you are in a relationship. Maboy wanakuja kwa maisha yako na hujui kunafanyikanga nini. I was talking to someone and she was telling me, "Miss Jenny nini baya? Tunaendanga vizuri. Wakati nafikiria nitapelekwa kwa wazai, mse anachomoka tu pole pole. Sijuagi ninaendanga. At times you feel inadequate in various situations. Friends, as a result we get anxious. We feel confused, we feel lost. We compare ourselves to other people who seems to be doing very well. They are young people like us who are driving 
and you feel tulisoma na Victor sahi anaendesha gari mimi hata baisikeli sina am i not good enough tulisoma na so and so amemari amepata mtoo hii mi bado niko hapa sielewi nini inafanyika na maisha yangu we find ourselves asking ourselves such and other questions friends i want to say three things that god was speaking to me this morning that one when you feel inadequate when you feel young people who are struggling with online loans they have lent you and you are from tala to branch to fadili to mpesa to fuliza and you are moving from one uh, uh, what, what are they called up to another and they are sending you messages to threaten you maybe you are even in crb and you are afraid because you know your cv meharibika picha imechomeka jesus is saying what is this that make you feel like you are inadequate you can speak to me number two when you feel inadequate listen to god's instructions in other obey what god says to you jesus is here and mary has consulted him and then mary tells the servants whatever he says do it sometimes we find ourselves in confusion because we are not listening to what god is saying to us at times we listen to friends more than we listen to god at times we can even listen to the people who are just making putting us in putting us into a mess even further what does jesus say to them fill the jars with water now this is confusing they were looking for wine jesus is saying fill the jars with water that doesn't sound to be like wine because there was ratio the ratio was supposed to be two portions of water or three portions of water versus one portion of now that juice from the grapes like this there is this one portion of water another and another three of them then another portion like this of that uh, grape wine juice mixed together to make wine now here he is he has said fill the jars with water isn't that confusing we want wine you're talking about filling with water Quite even, as far as they are concerned it doesn't seem like water i mean it doesn't seem like wine it, it, it seems like something different maybe they imagined he did not hear what they wanted to have friends at times what we expect from god and what we are getting seems to be contradicting do you know why because there is difference between what we think we want and what god knows that we need in our lives the point is when you feel inadequate number one you have already acknowledged that here i am not good enough but now you speak to god and then he is able to give you directions this is the way this is the path that you take number three when we feel inadequate we trust god for his replenishing there is no point of giving up and thinking that i have done enough i have prayed enough i have worshiped enough i have served enough it doesn't seem to be forthcoming you don't give up because in fullness of time god will replenish that which you think you have ran short of and therefore verse 8 says and the master of the banquet tested the water that had been drawn had now changed into wine in other words jesus saved this man from embarrassment i want to suggest to us this morning that god will not see it to you until to the point of you breaking down in his time the right time in the fullness of time he will replenish that which you think you have lost are you wondering how do i pay school fees how do i run or pay my bills you know how do i survive in this small salary how do i go about the relationships i mean i feel i'm ready to get married but somewhere something is not going on very well how do i continue working on in this marriage because i know some of us might be married and you are contemplating exiting god is reminding us he will replenish that which has run out are you feeling inadequate you can talk to god you can listen to his instructions but last but not the least he will replenish that which you have lost let us pray our god and our father we want to thank you this afternoon 
and thank you because in one way or the other either of us can confirm that lord in a specific area of my life i feel inadequate i feel that i have run short of resources and i'm confused i don't know how to go about this but you're reminding us that you have come into our life and your presence into our lives brings the whole difference visit that young person who is saying my salary does not meet my bills i am looking for a job for a long time i have not been able to do that i have been on and off in relationship i am confused i am in marriage very young marriage but i feel so exhausted but lord you are reminding us you have come in our presence so that lord you can bring difference father we present ourselves to you you who see it deep in our hearts you who see the pains and the hurtings that we are experiencing and father we pray that you may replenish that which we have lost according to your own riches in glory in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit god bless you let us appreciate Basti. so we are going to have a uh, time for bringing our offertory and i welcome the band so that we can have a song and we bring our offertory and tithes and thanksgiving so we may all be upstanding and uh, when we come to give uh, we all converge to we start from the front we converge to the center and we use the side aisles to go back to our seats so let us all be upstanding as we welcome the band to give us a song so that we can give our offering I'm also being notified that we have a missing child who's been found. Uh, he's called Pascal. He's in the kitchen. Pascal.
As we receive the offering, all things come from you, O Lord, and we are own we have given you. Lord, we thank you for the offerings and the tithes and the other free will gifts that your servants have given for the extension of your kingdom here and even beyond. It is our prayer that, Lord, you will sanctify it. And that, Lord, you will bless each one of us and meet us at the very point of our needs. In our businesses, in our offices and jobs that we do. And in our studies for those who are studying. Father, meet us at the very point of our needs. In Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. We pray, believe. Amen. Uh, before we, in our prayer, and probably before we recess, just to remind us that on Sunday, it's the um, wicked challenge Sunday, but we shall still, as, as uh, up to now, we shall still have our usual youth service. Uh, so please be prepared. We have invited guests to come and speak. And it's, it begins actually on Friday, Friday at 5.30 p.m. in the evening, on Saturday at 4 p.m., and then on Sunday during the services from morning, uh, nine that service, our service, and it will end after the youth service. Something else I, uh, I want to mention, one of us, uh, who is our church elder and our lay canon, the canon Kambi, says that he may have left his phone somewhere within the pews. If you have come across a phone somewhere, please forward it to us. It belongs to uh, canon Kambi. In case you have come across a phone, somewhere on the pew, don't leave it there. Kindly forward it to us because it belongs to Canon Kambi. Let us pray. Jehovah, as we dismiss, we pray that Lord, you will dismiss us with your love. Guide us, Lord. Protect us, the remaining part of this day. Those of us who may be traveling within this town and even out of this town, we pray for your guidance and for your protection, O oh Lord. Father, those who will be having various activities throughout the week, even as we go to offices, as we go about our businesses, as we go about uh, doing our studies, and whatever it is that we do, it is our prayer that, Lord, you will lead us, you will guide us, and you will see us through. And when we meet again at that time to come and worship you here, we shall be there to praise and honor your holy name. In Jesus Christ, do we pray and believe. Amen. And now, brothers and sisters in the Lord, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift his countenance on you and give you peace. And now the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us, remain with us now, and even forevermore. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. The answer is in the name of Christ. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Praise and worship lead us in a recessional song. Kitabu chako baba ikuwe hati ya ungeni fikia 
Ungeni fikia Na vile ni meonja uzuri wako sasa najua Na vile ni meonja upendo wako sasa najua Ungeni fikia Ungeni fikia Ungeni fikia Oye baba Ungeni mimi niteleze Niteleze Nianguke Kujua Nikienda kanisa lako baba Ikuwe atia Kuwimba imbo waza Kwa baba ikuwe atia Ungeni fikia Ungeni fikia Na vile ni meonja Upendo wako Sasa najua Na vile ni meonja Uzuri wako Sasa najua Utani fikia Utani fikia Utani fikia Wewe baba Sasa ni teleze Teleze ni yangu Nikose Nijafu Uwe